together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe The new brackets arrived. You can see the difference. So um, it'll need a bit of fettling because when the cast, obviously they're fitted to the specific hull of the boat, and this one is um, straight from the casting. So you can see here it's actually a thicker base already and here is lower than this so what we're going to have to do is just get it into situ get the prop shaft in and line it all up and then um, it may need to come off and have some of this base shaved down slightly or maybe some packers in there just to get the angle of this shaft here absolutely spot on uh, so but at least it's here now so we can see about getting it fitted so yeah looks good doesn't it i think looks good yeah oh we're back on the boat uh two weeks ago yesterday i fell onto well, I fell here and I landed on the base of my spine and bounced backwards into the anchor here onto this sort of curb bit and fractured two of my vertebrae. Uh, so it's two weeks yesterday that that happened. Today, I got here at 12 o'clock and all I've done today is I've run the hose, the uh, electric to the electric meter I have retrieved my ladder which you can just see down there from where the guy over here was borrowing it and to be fair he actually carried it over for me and set it up for me and I've retrieved the horse pipe which was it had found its way over there somewhere so I've retrieved that and put that back and the only other thing I've done and we're talking about you know four hours is i've climbed this ladder and i have sanded there where we had a chip in the gel coat that has gone back to fiberglass and that's it and it's killed me uh, i've got another graze in the gel coat just here where well, it's come back to fiberglass and these sanding uh, so I've got to just finish this bit off where it just needs a little bit of grinding out and then I've got the acetone and some baby wipes just to clear it and then I've got to fill it ready for putting a little bit of fiberglass on and then some gel coat and that's it I'm ghost how I'm going to get the rest of this boat ready to go in the water in two weeks. I don't know. Uh, I've got a friend and uh, or two friends coming down to help fit the uh, prop shaft back on the boat. We've got the new bracket which has turned up, which. Uh, is sat here waiting to go on so it's going to come down later uh, and uh, yeah if I get the P bracket on um, somebody has uh, offered to do the antifoul for me um, Rory at Vliho Yacht Club 
has said he'll come and do the antifoul for me. Now they have got uh, a charter business, so they've got the special equipment to do the antifoul. Uh, but it still needs sanding. It's not finished. You can see it still needs sanding off. Uh, and uh, I don't think I can just stand and hold the sander to do that. I really don't. Uh, the bow where I've done the gel coat repair, it's not perfect, sanded perfect, but it's good enough for gel coat to go on it, I think. And then I need to sort of carry on buffing this back so that you can't really see it. You don't, this doesn't seem to be much of a discoloration above the waterline there. Uh, so I think it's going to blend in reasonably well. Uh, and then this is the one that did me in up here. I've got to get back up there and just finish sanding that out and then gel coat that. Uh, so, wish me luck guys, I'm going to need it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. I need to put another couple of layers of fiberglass inside. But I can do that when she's back in the water and I'm feeling better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's just for strength, so yeah. Absolutely. And then she's been sticking back on with the glass back in. Now it's it's basically sticking back on. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, they are slightly I think this is slightly deeper base than the old one. Why? Because I think with them being cast, they're sort of they they have a quite right, are they? No. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, hot shot in. bit of fiberglass on it above the filler just like that set up and then we can sand it flat and then gel coat and it should be fine so all this excess fiberglass will just sand off I am so fed up ah seven hours and all I've done is that and just filled this bit on the bottom of the rudder, ready to be sanded, and that's it. Uh, I can't work for more than 20 minutes before I've got to go and lie down, and the sweat is just dripping off me, and I'm dizzy and weak as a kitten. So, Svetlana's on the way back down. Uh, I've put everything away that I can put away. This little lot is going to have to go into the boot of the car. Uh, a guy uh, turned up this afternoon, Matt. He's someone, uh, his friend that we've known for a while. He actually helped me put the uh, ends on the cables for the batteries because he got a special tool to do it. And uh, him and his friend 
a bobbing around on Monday evening to see about fitting the P bracket uh, and getting that uh, fettled. So tomorrow I've got to get all of the bits. So the P brackets there. There's a spare cutlass bearing. Uh, the actual stern gland for the shaft is in the car, so I've got to get that out of the car, um, and then I've got to just source all the bolts and make sure I've got everything ready for him for when they come um, to get that done. So that'll be a huge help, huge, huge help. Uh, and I'm just going to have to do a little bit at a time. Uh, this side, you can see it's been cut, so uh, so that's fine. But if uh, we look at the other side, which hasn't been done at all yet, then all along this side here, can you see the discoloration? This is all the salt that I've got to basically cut off. So I've got to use a cutting compound and just get all that to the same condition as the other side. And then here, I don't know whether it shows up on camera, but there are two scrapes there that again are going back to fiberglass. So they're going to need sanding out uh, and then just gel because there's no holes there. So I just need to sand them flat and then paint them with gel just to get it to blend in. Uh, and then the anti-foul uh, still needs a good a good sanding, particularly at the waterline, uh, before uh, we can get the anti-foul done. So I'm just going to have to do a little bit each day, and hopefully each day I'll get a little bit better and I get a bit more um, stamina to be able to finish the job off and get it done. Uh, in time to go back in the water so but yeah so I fell here landed on the base of my spine and then backwards into the curve on the anchor here which is what's fractured two of my vertebra so although I'm very disappointed that I've really not got very much done today it is actually, I think, a miracle that when you consider, I brought my back 15 days ago, that's two weeks and a day. And I had the operation 13 days ago uh, on my spine. So to actually be here doing this so soon after that operation I think is just amazing and I feel very lucky to be alive to be able to walk but I also feel very lucky to be in this beautiful beautiful surrounding it's very picturesque here it's very clean there's no pollution no air pollution and uh, you know we're still we're still in march and it is actually it's like a late summer in in the uk so i'm i'm very very lucky i think very lucky <laughs>